Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we got a special guest. We got the big man Lil Easy. I said the big man Lil. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> but Easy's here with us He's today. Here with us. A Thanks for joining us, friend. Thanks for having me. You're welcome, welcome. So TNT and Easy. Oh, I like how that sounds. All right, so I got something for you. So, so you, who, you, did you guys eat Lunchables when you were a kid? Yo. Did you I see? Love, <laughs> I, I love had the anytime I had the chance. <laughs> Yo, and now they have like the adult Lunchables. Oh, do they? Yeah, like the small plates, which is just comes with like it comes with like a a, a bagel chip and like a piece of hard salami and like. A, oh, you get those sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like the fan. They're like real food. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. But so it's just a Lunchable. That actually brings me to my point. So I don't know what what city this was in. We'll say Florida because that's usually where it is. So. Lunchables has got a way to to connive their way into the school lunch program. So what they're trying to say is giving oh, Lunchables to kids on. at school is good enough. Bruh. So, but what they had to do was they have they had to put them in with improved nutrition in quotes because the ones in the grocery store are not good no, enough no. for kids to eat. <laughs> but listen to this description. So it says, the document said it contains two ounces equivalents MMA, meat or meat alternative, one ounce equivalent of grain and meats whole grain rich criteria. And so and then it says the pizza one is five ounces, two ounces of MMA, two ounces of equivalents grain, one eighth cup of red slash orange vegetable and quote unquote meats whole grain rich criteria. Bruh. And this is what these kids are going to be eating in school, dude. This sounds like like you own a farm, and like <laughs> this is like the government mandate on what your cattle need to eat. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the most disgusting thing I've heard of in my life. I man. mean, did you get your one eighth cup of red orange vegetable today, Easy? Yeah, probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> All I had today was what did I eat today? Yo, school lunch though, pizza day. Dude, okay. Square slices. The, the, you had squares or rectangles. The, the little rectangles. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing. Uh, <laughs> did they ever right. have? Did they ever have Mexican pizza? Well, hold your... on. Let me give you a hot take. What's that? I'm sorry. Sometimes on Friday I'd get the fish sandwich because I liked fried fish when I was a kid. I would get the fish sandwich over the pizza. Nobody ever got the fish. I did. People looked at me like I was a weirdo. You had multiple options at school. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. We had. I mean, this was the this was the eighties. <laughs> uh, this is small town school. We had whatever they gave us. <laughs> did you get like? Did they, you just walked what? in and they just threw pizza at you? It was. You came in. You got your tray. Whatever was on it was what you were. Wait, you didn't get day. to go through line? You went in a little line to get your tray. Okay, so that wait, was wait. It. <laughs> what, what what was the worst day? What was the day that everybody hated? You know. Be honest, I don't really remember. Turkey like gravy sour. over mashed all potatoes. The days, all the other days were even. You were only excited for the pizza, pizza day. day. Yeah. Okay, I remember the days. Monday. How do you? F no, you do not remember. I, I remember every day, dude. Why? Monday was cheeseburgers. <laughs> I remember every day. <laughs> Tuesdays was hot dogs and and taco. That's disgusting. Wednesday was grilled cheese. That's gross. Thursday was turkey gravy and mashed potatoes. And Friday was pizza and fish. And this is what they fed every week. This is what every they, week every was the week. same. It was just like, here's starch and grease. Hot take. On Thursdays, I got the pre-made submarine sandwich and took the bologna off. I mean, over the turkey gravy. That, that's, that's, that's some real fat boy shit. I'm going to just keep the buck <laughs> what, with you. Wait, you get the submarine sandwich over the turkey gravy? No, no. Knowing the fuck the, the food. Menu. Yeah, that's some fat boy shit. I mean, there was a reason I was <laughs> I'm just going to keep it a buck, all right? <laughs> we ate the same thing for 14 years straight. How do you not remember that? I don't know. I would never. I, would I remember never. everything. I barely remember. I can barely remember what the inside of the lunchroom looked like. I don't remember what table I sat at. I remember they sold bowls of fries, and that's what I would use. Oh, yeah. You could get fries. Dude, some people would just get like three bags of fries on their tray. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> just walk out with three bags of fried <laughs> potatoes. You're like, disgusting. oh. What about the snack stand? I'm sorry. What is this? You guys have thing? a snack stand? What like, is a snack stand? You go right? through the line and then they have like the little stand with like cookies and soft pretzels and pudding and all that kind of stuff? No. I Where did you go to school, Easy? In Clovis or Texaco, New Mexico. Yeah. Oh, Texas. in New Mexico. Yeah. Texaco, New Mexico. Texaco, New Mexico. Was, is that owned by Texaco? <laughs> no, it's spelled different. It's spelled different? Okay. Where to get its name from? Is it just. 
And yeah. because it's half, it's on the border between Texas and New Mexico. Like I was a block from oh. the state line. Oh, okay. oh <laughs> I got you. And when you say okay. when you say small town, you mean like uh, like what, like ten thousand people, twelve thousand people? Nah, like less than three thousand. Like small, small. Oh wow! Like like, like little town. A graduating class of like thirty people. Holy shit, yeah. man! Are you serious? Wait, thirty people? Something like that. You oh wow! I remember the exact number? I'm I don't have good memory, but yeah, <laughs> that's funny. It was barely any of us. That's crazy. And now you live in Austin where there's like a million people. How's that for a different change? It's a good change up. It was wild at first, but you know. Yeah. yeah. I like the city, man. I like the so city. So wait, did you live there until you graduated when you were 18 and then came to like the big city and you were like, holy crap. Yeah. Right at 18, I moved out here. <laughs> Interesting. I, w- I can't go back to a, to a small town. And I wouldn't even say that the town that me and uh, Jonas went to was necessarily a small town, but it was, Hell, it like, was smaller. For it, sure. I mean, at its peak, probably like 35,000 people. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't a small town, but it felt that. small. Way small, oh, way yeah, bigger than 3,000. Here, everything feels small. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I lived in New York for a little while, so like this is it's, it's average. <laughs> I wouldn't say average. It's It's all right. It's not. I would say there's not as many buildings as I expected there to be in in Austin. I expect Austin to be like more, but it's getting there. That's fair. That's fair. Like they are constructing constantly, like in this area all the time. Yeah, like people yeah. are just like buying up land. There's like this one uh, gas station I used to go to when I would play D and D on the weekends, and it was owned. It was like a uh, a Circle K. And oh then, yeah, yeah. And then like uh like some Arab guys came in and bought the place, and they named it a. Uh, they named it a Zap Shop. Zap Shop? <laughs> yeah, or Zapco. It's Zapco. Is this in New York or here? This is here. Oh, okay. And it just looks like, in the design for it looks like you just like went on uh, Fiverr and was like, I need a company name and a logo. And they're like, all right, I make this for you. And, and then they just like made like, the sign and, and like is, whatever. It is the cheapest looking design for anything I've Dude, ever seen. Dude, there was a little. But I'm like, yo, that land has got to be worth something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was this store we used to go to all the time in Youngstown called Petra. Mm-hmm. And like, did you ever go there? Man, same sort of deal. And like, it was the most shady ass shit. Like there used to be like this like old lady who worked in there and she only had like three fingers on one hand. And then there was like this old dude that would hang out. There was like two Arab guys who owned it and there was a little old white lady and like this old dude. And this one time we went in there and the old guy was like, come into the cooler with me. And he like took us into like, into the beer Bro, cooler. This is about to make a weird turn. And then when he took his pants down, we didn't know joking. <laughs> I <laughs> know. And all he wanted to do was like he wanted to show us like weed or something. He's like, I got some weed. And we're like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you bringing us in the cooler to show us weed, Bruh. dude? Like, what is happening right now? You better not do that nowadays. Oh, yeah. You get shanked. <laughs> No, you'll get brought up on charges. If what? We're we're coming down on people grooming kids now, man. We're not grooming anymore. I, mean, I was anymore. grown. I wasn't like a kid. Oh, <laughs> I was I wasn't underage. I don't know. Still, I feel I like you're impressionable. Still a wild experience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did I ever tell you guys when I took a ride with a trucker? <laughs> Jonas is a very impressionable adult. He's definitely the type that would get into a, a trucker and get conned into like. He almost became an accidental lot lizard. Over exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they called me Lottie for a long time. <laughs> like, like, like they say, if you like, like leave a pig in in the wild for like a while, it'll turn into a boar. Like over a couple generations, I feel like in like three weeks, Jonas would just become like a, a lot lizard, a full I would just fledged be on, like, selling myself for just for high heels and mini skirts, selling myself for truck stop pizza. Like, <laughs> hey, you going and get me a slice? I'll give you a slice, homie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give me a beer, Dale. Hit me again. Nah, if you're in a flying J, you got to get the the chicken tenders. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll be like, listen, if you want some extra tonight, you better give me them tenders, bro. They and- never had chicken tenders at my school lunch. No, they never had. Ch- they had chicken patties. Those Gross. weird, like breaded patties, like, yeah. no bun, no nothing. It, the middle so, of a Chick Fil A sandwich, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> right. And cheese was extra. Yeah, yeah, dude. And they charge you ten extra cents extra. in the school lunch line. So that story about the trucker, I was underage at that on that one. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let me bring God. this up real quick. Oh wow! So I was at a party at we go. at the greenhouse, dude, on Columbus Avenue. You know, and we were hanging out on the patio in this truck and like the bridge was closed. The bridge on Bridge Street was closed and the truck driver like stopped because he saw us sitting on the patio and he was like, hey, I need to get to so and so. And me and my buddy were 
um, completely sober. Maybe not. Um, but I don't want to incriminate me as you a minor. You underage <laughs> and high on drugs? <laughs> no, maybe we were drinking. I don't know. And we're like, and he, and we're like, not a drug. Sorry. And, and we'll Never show, mind. And we'll show. We were like, we'll show you. So we just hop in the in the in the semi with this dude, and just he drives away. And I was like, bro. We almost never came back. Yo, but that kind of stuff. I f okay, so on the same note, it's like apparently like the boom of like child abductions were was during that era. And that's why people are so obsessed with it now. And honestly, it was when we look back on a lot of like these celebrities of people who could, could afford to rape children and get away with it. They, 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 oh, like the Epstein it, it happened during that era. Early, late 90s, early 2000s. Exactly. So... That was the most dangerous time for you to be doing that, but on the same note, probably like there was two of us. We could have took him. Probably the safest time. Well, I was in the seat, and my buddy was on his little bench behind two it. Of us, we could have took him. Yeah, <laughs> we grown ass that. man, we're sixteen year old kids. That. But if he would have tried anything, he would have shanked him. No, you didn't have any weapons, and he had a whole truck, which could have had all the weapons. He had that gun he, under that seat, he may have. like the old school truckers did. He yeah, probably yeah, on some yeah, speed. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> anyways. But, uh, all right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. Thank you for joining us, Easy for Jonas. TNT. And Easy, we out.